Hello, I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane, physician in the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Center at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I wanted to spend a few minutes with the women out there talking about a, an important preventative health issue, namely pap smears. So there's been data in the past that has suggested that women with inflammatory bowel disease have an increased risk for cervical abnormalities that are found on pap smear. And why is this? Well, because of the immunosuppressants that we use to treat Crohn's and some patients with ulcerative colitis. So it turns out that there's a new study just published in the literature from Denmark where a large cohort of women with inflammatory bowel disease were compared with women who didn't have inflammatory bowel disease and the rates of cervical abnormalities as well as cervical cancer could be studied. And it turns out that women with uh, inflammatory bowel disease, either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, had just as much screening, i.e. pap smears, as women who didn't have these conditions, which is actually different from the U.S. In the U.S. we have found that women who have IBD are not getting screened as frequently, probably because there's been so much focus and attention on their GI tract and not their preventative health issues. Anyway, back to this study. This study showed that women were getting uh, screened just as frequently as other women and that their risk for cervical abnormalities was higher in both ulcerative colitis and in Crohn's disease. And in Crohn's disease, there was an increased risk for cervical cancer development. It was about 50% higher than the healthy population. And so it's interesting to also note that they were able to look back at patients' uh, medication rates as well as how long they've had disease. And it turns out that it appears that it's the particular immune suppressants of uh, azathioprine, also known as Imurian, 6-MP, also known as Pyrenethal, is the class of medicines that seem to drive this increased risk. So what does this mean to a woman who is on one of these medicines, uh, who is of childbearing age and has not had a hysterectomy? It means that you should absolutely make sure that you are getting annual pap smears because you are immunosuppressed, and that uh, any atypical or abnormal cells that are seen on your pap smear get followed up because these, uh, these immunosuppressants, what they do is they allow certain kinds of viruses to overgrow and that's what leads to the cervical cancer. So ladies out there, make sure you are getting your pap smears on an annual basis so that you don't have to worry about, about a cancer in this area either.